Hi guys, it's Alexandra Nicole here with City Chic Living Vlog, Vlog Videos, or Vlogs. Um, I am here today to show you how to contour your face. I've clipped my hair back in this ridiculous but fun hair clip, and um, I'm going to show you how to get more of a structured look to your face. first product that I use, and you will see this everywhere because everyone loves this product for contouring, is the Anastasia Contour Kit. Now, you will, let me warn you, I use this thing like crazy, so it's a little bit messy. Um, as you can see, I use the yellow a lot, but I have found a color that I enjoy a little bit more, and that is the Ulta brand. Now, this is the Ulta Press Setting Powder in Banana. I really like it, not only because there is a lot of it and I tend to use this the most, but also I just like the hue of it just a little bit more for my skin color. Now, first, I'm going to use the MAC Contouring Brush. Looks like this, flat head. And I take this one right here. If you're looking at the compact, it's the bottom left color. And I hit right, right underneath the, the cheekbone here. I'm creating a line. And you just do it lightly. And I like this brush because it's flat. And when you do circular motions, it kind of it helps to keep it in this in the targeted area, but also blend in the line a little bit. You can see the difference between here and here. I'll just add just a little bit more. Now, we'll go ahead and do the other side to match. Now, step two, I like to use the middle and the one on the very far right if you're staring at it. So if I'm looking at it right here, it's gonna be the one on the right. I like to blend those together. Tap your brush, you don't want any extra. It can give you the mud face, which we've talked about in previous sessions of not wanting to have. And you take it and you lightly go around the jawbone here. And the hairline. Now these are spots where the sun, if you're out at the beach, the sun's going to naturally hit. It tends to be the spots that get a little bit darker. Now you can also help to shape the nose by doing a little bit of a dark right in here. That same mixture of colors. This is what has created, as you can see here and here, we've added the depth to the face. Now, next we're going to add a little bit of highlighting. Now for that, I like to use the Sephora Small Blush Brush. I like it because it's small enough to keep control of the powder. But, um, it, and it also allows you to target specific areas. Now, if you're looking at your Anastasia Contour Kit, which, by the way, comes in two colors. Um, I, this one is the light one. There is a darker one. Um, if you're looking at it, the pink color to the far left, not the one on the right because that has shimmer in it, that goes last, is the color we're going to use for this next step. What you do with this one, everyone does it a little bit different. I like to put this color right up under my eye here and bring it up. Lightens. So you can tell that I don't have there. It's lighter through here. We've talked about in earlier sessions my issues with uh, dark circles. Probably hereditary, also mostly due to 
having a one and a half year old and not going to sleep till two most nights because I'm working on my blog, which I love. You can see I've taken that color up and around there. That's going to brighten the under eye. Now my favorite color, as you guys can see, I'm actually going to use the one that I showed you all earlier, the Ulta Banana. You take this color and it goes right below, so you can see where I just created that line there, right below where we had originally added the darker color. It's really helping to contour and um, lighten up. If you lighten right up under the shaded area, it gives the shaded area a more raised look, so higher cheekbones. Wow, you can really see it here. Now, it might look a little funny because we haven't added the blush yet, but you can see the difference between here and here. I'm get out of the so you guys can really see. Do the same here. See, you can totally tell just from doing that. Huge difference. Also, I like to take the banana and go right down my nose and right along the forehead like this. This is Matte Blush in Desert Rose. I really like this color for my skin tone. Um, and again, I'm using my Adela Moore Angled Brush. This is the Angled Blush Brush. Just add just a little there. I always tap off my brush. I'm go overboard, especially matte colors are very pigmented, so you don't want excess color on there. And we're just gonna hit the balls of the cheek. And I brush up just a little bit. Some people say that's very 80s to take your blush up. Um, I do it anyways, and honestly, I justify it because I will add a little bit of a shimmer. After you've applied your blush, which of course I've taken it to about there, you want to put on your shimmer highlighter, which is again in the Anastasia Contour Kit. This one is the pink shimmer on the far right if you're looking at it. A little bit of this goes a very long way. So just dab, tap your brush a little bit, and I just hit right up on that cheekbone. Sometimes for special occasions, brighten a little bit through here, give them that sun kiss look. And that, my friends, is how you contour your face with the Anastasia Contour Kit and the MAC Desert Rose Blush, as well as the Sephora Small Blush Brush and the Adela Moore Angled Brush Blush. Okay guys, bonus. I'm gonna show you how to do the easiest, most natural eyeshadow you will ever, ever have. And honestly, it is using the colors that we just used in the contouring one-on-one. -on -one. The three brushes that we use all still have color left on them. So what I like to do is take the dark, and of course I'm doing the crazy mouth thing that everybody does. So they do their eye makeup. Then, I like to take the one that had my blush on it. And then lastly, I'll dip this one again in the shimmer. Tap. And do right up under the eyebrow. See how it just brightened and lifted? Just like that. Easy blush, less than a minute to do. Actually, less than probably 30 seconds to do but this will have your face looking fabulously contoured and your eyes looking bright, wide, and ready for the world.